been told no federal dollars can go to knock down vacant homes in their neighborhoods. But now, 25 square miles of Detroit neighborhoods are going to be part of the city's demolition program. These areas that you see here that are shaded in blue represent some of the most blighted areas of the city and are now in line for some badly needed attention. Local force guy Gordon talked with neighbors who have waited patiently. In the next few months, there will be a lot more of this going on in neighborhoods that until now saw little or no demo activity. And I said they just forgot about us over here. Federal dollars from Uncle Sam's hardest hit fund were doled out based on population density, saving the more densely populated areas first. But now it's anticipated with this expansion, 1,200 blighted homes in the truly hardest hit areas will finally see attention. Thank goodness for that. That's good to hear. Only seven out of 30 homes on Kathy's block are occupied. The rest stripped or gutted. They need demo dollars badly, and Kathy says she'll feel safer with each eyesore that falls. How much safer will you feel if these get knocked down? A whole lot safer because then you can see what's going on, you know, especially now that summer's coming, all these weeds going to grow back up, and then you're not going to be able to see. And these houses are open, you walk past a the house, then somebody jump out on you, what can you do? Nearly half of the next 2,600 homes on the demo list will be in these expanded areas, opening the door to even revitalization of some, like this section bordering Hamtramck and its growing Bangladeshi population. So this area is a natural growth area. Again, there's, there's a lot of vacancy. There's a lot of open lots over here. But the, the houses that can be saved, there are already people working on some of them. And I think removing the blight just gives them more hope that the investment they're making, whether it be small or large, is going to pay off in the long run. And there is yet another big chunk of federal money coming our way. $180 million granted to the state of Michigan. We should find out in June how much of that will come to Detroit. 50 mil is the conservative estimate. That represents 4,000 more houses, blighted houses, that will go away. From Detroit Seaside, I'm Guy Gordon, Local 4. Okay, Guy, and when the original federally designated zones were approved in 2013, only about 21% of Detroiters lived in the neighborhoods eligible for federally funded demolition, and now more than 90% of the city is eligible.